Well, I wanted to give you an update on Mary's surgery. As you can see, I'm home, which is not good news, which it is not good news that I have to share with you. Um, we got to the hospital in plenty of time this morning. We talked to the doctor. We did all of her blood work. She did all of her x-rays. She got all situated in her bed. The doctor come in and said, the next time I see you, we'll be in the surgical lounge, in the surgical area, once we start the procedure. But um, there is a there is a slight possibility that you might get in there, you might be sedated, and we might start, you know, proceeding with the um, surgery, and then something could go wrong, and we won't finish the surgery, so you could wake up with no new liver, just so you're aware of it. So Mary had to sign all these consent forms and all the things that you know we knew that she was going to have to do anyhow. And uh, a little after one o'clock. Her, her surgery was scheduled at 3. We got to the hospital like around 8 o'clock. Uh, her sur surgery was scheduled at 3. And just around 1 o'clock, the doctor came in and said that unfortunately, uh, the donor, they had taken off the donor off the family. I told you or this morning, I think it was. I, I don't remember. I'm losing all track of time. But the family wanted a little bit more time with the uh, donor before they took him off of life support. I don't know if it was a man or a woman. I, but so... um. When they did finally decide to take their loved one off of life support, the person kept on living, which they didn't expect. And But unfortunately, it was just for the fact that the heart was strong, but all the organs were shutting down. So even though the heart was still pumping, it wasn't pumping enough blood to the affected organs. And so therefore, the donor, um, none of the donor's organs were going to be viable for transplant. So... Unfortunately, Mary wasn't the only one that was going to be disappointed today. But we still are praying for the donor's family because that had to have been so hard for them. And it had to have been even harder when they took them off of life support and then they still were alive. And uh, just all of the stress that they had to go through today. But if it wasn't for the at least the thoughtful gift, the thought of the gift of, of life for someone else, um, at least... In my heart, I think the donor is at peace knowing that, hopefully, I don't know, but I'm at peace thinking that they were going to be sustaining someone's life and not really knowing that it never came to pass. But um, as all things in life, God has a plan for us. Um, Mary took it with uh, fairly, we all took it, but Mary especially because it was affecting her more than anybody else. Mary took it with uh, a good stride, um, and we all agreed it's... Um, it wasn't in God's plan for her to get it today. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be a chance in the future that she's not going to have another opportunity. But um, it's better not to have it than to have it put in and then find out that it doesn't um, function. And then she has no liver. <laughs> and so then that would be even worse. So uh, we have strong faith in God. We know that God has a purpose for Mary. And uh, he... Um, just wants her to wait a little bit longer, and we're willing to wait because we have complete faith in him. But Mary wanted me to make sure I told everybody thank you for all of your prayers. Um, I really do think that even though she didn't get the organ, that uh, your prayers helped her to see that this is God's will. Not that she needed that, you know. Like I said, we're very strong in our faith. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you kind of wonder sometimes. And... Uh, you know, even Thomas doubted. So, I mean, it's just, um, you know, but I, the prayers really did help Mary. They had her in a good frame of mind. And, uh, you know, she's going to be sad, obviously. But uh, I, I wanted to do a really quick check in here to let you know that um, we appreciate the prayers. It was a no-go for today. But uh, we have faith that it will happen again soon. So, um Thank you once again for all your prayers. Uh, please continue to pray for the donor's family that uh, they can uh, get through the hard time of today if the loved one is still alive or even if the loved one has just passed. But um, thank you once again. So I know I'm just babbling now. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm just emotionally drained. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. But, um, but for now, thanks so much for all your prayers. It's very much appreciated. Mm -hmm.